Today, December 9th, is a very important day in history, especially American history. We often go back and think of the history of the United States, which began in 1776. But we need to look back even further to the whole history of the Americas. And on this day, December 9th, we have a lot of things that converge that make this day very, very exciting to help us understand that. For example, today's the Feast of St. Juan Diego. He's the patron saint of indigenous people. And he also has a very special role when it comes to the evangelization of the Americas. And why is that? It's because on this day, December 9th, 1531, our Blessed Mother appeared to him in what is now Mexico City. And on that day, something very special would happen now for the rest of the Americas as the Catholic Church, through our Blessed Mother, would begin to explode. And so December 9th is a huge day, also because in the Eastern Church, this is the day where they celebrate the Feast of the Immaculate Conception. So in the, in the Roman Church yesterday, December 8th, we celebrated it um, in our liturgies. Well, now the East celebrates it traditionally, and now we see a convergence of these feasts of Mary's Immaculate Conception on the day that Mary would be bridging west and east, you can say, between an old world and a new world by coming to the center of the Americas. And another awesome thing about this day is that this is a day where we celebrate the life of Venerable Fulton Sheen. He is a man that we are probably very familiar with, but one of the things that he asked for um, during his life is that I have two things that I pray for for my death. He said, one, I pray that I will uh, die in front of our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. Secondly, he says, I want to die on the feast day of our Blessed Mother. And if these two if these two things don't happen, then he was going to be very upset when he went before them. Well, this is the awesome thing, is that having lived through the day of December 8th, he then died on the morning of December 9th, which is interesting because he had a great love for Our Lady of Lourdes, France. And that's where she said, I am the Immaculate Conception. In fact, he visited the Lord over 30 times. And here he is, a man who was also by ritual. He celebrated the liturgy of the Western Church and also the Byzantine liturgy. What an awesome day for him to die because now we see on the convergence of this day, which deals with the evangelization of the Americas, I don't know of anybody who has had such an impact, not just in America, but even to the world, as Fulton Sheen in the modern world. Of course, there are arguably some other great figures, but Fulton Sheen really pioneered that way. And his relevance now is more than, than it's ever been. So this is the day we see a lot of neat convergences. And at the same time, you know, we're experiencing in the world and in, the, in this country, a great awakening taking place. If you've listened to me talk over this last year about the significance of the 100th anniversary of Fatima, you would have heard this by now, that we are in the midst of a great revolution. And really, the world is trying to figure out what side it's on. What is this revolution? What do we do about it? And here we are in America, looking at our future, wondering, do we have one? Do a country's in the, in the midst of, a, uh, of an ideological civil war, which could go in any direction. But this great revolution going on in the world, we're being caught up in it right now. And I think it's very fitting that on a day like this, December 9th, all these convergences of Our Lady Guadalupe, the evangelization of the Americas, Fulton Sheen's, uh, the anniversary of his death, that I get to announce that what I'm gonna be focusing on as my special event for 2018 is exactly this. What now America? Where do we go from here? How do we take these things that we're gonna be reflecting on in these coming days, between the 9th and the 12th, and even through Advent and going into 2018, how do we make sense of what's going on? What future does America have? And what is that future gonna be built on? The only way that we can have a good sense of what that's going to be is we've gotta know our Catholic history of the Americas. And so 1531 and Our Lady of Guadalupe is gonna be enormous. What does that have to do then with Fatima? We just finished celebrating 100th anniversary of Fatima. What does that message have to do with the future of America? So the history of, of the Catholic faith and the Catholic Church in America is going to be so important as we look forward. What kind of culture are we going to bring? Okay, what, cult, what kind of culture are we going to give our families? And then we also look to what kind of spirituality is going to form the church 
of this third millennium, of this literally, this new era that we are entering into. And so that's where we're gonna be focusing on the message of Our Lady of Fatima even more. And then lastly, what does it look like practically to build a Catholic society, a Catholic culture? And I'm not just talking about going to Mass and we happen to be Catholics. I'm talking about things. What does the church say in its own social teaching about what kind of society is going to really thrive economically, politically, all these kinds of things? We don't ask these questions enough, sometimes hardly at all. And so this series of What Now America is meant to be an enormous conversation starter. So I want to encourage you, even right now during this season of Advent, as we're leading up to 2018, we've already launched in the Catholic Church our new year, the beginning of Advent. Let's start looking to 2018 and not just making it you know, the best year ever. Let's make it the beginning of the turning of the tide of this global revolution where the Catholic Church will finally begin to take the lead. And I'm hoping, and my intention with this What Now America series is to help give the foundational building blocks to help families begin to talk about how we can actually do this. So I'm very excited about this. So I want to encourage you to go to heroicfamilies.com and there you can learn more about the series itself. You can also book your event right there or you can go more directly to heroicfamilies.com slash whatnowamerica, another shortcut to get there. Um, we have a lot of exciting things here at Heroic Families that we're launching right now. This is the big one for 2018. Between now and December 12th, we'll look for even more announcements, especially on December 12th. We have something very, very special that we're announcing. I'll give you a hint, it does deal with Our Lady, it does deal with the Rosary, a few things you know, that we've been working on. Some of you already may know what it is, but now is our big push, our big launch, because this is the time, okay? This time of waiting and, and Advent, this is a time not just waiting for Christ to come to us, this is a time for us to come to Him and go out into the world. He came so that we can give Him to the world. So this is an awesome opportunity for you. Go to heroicfamilies.com slash whatnowamerica and get in touch with me. Let's get these events booked very quickly. This is too important of a message to get out. So God bless you. You are in our prayers throughout this Advent season, and I can't wait to give you our next update on December 12th.